Thanksgiving giving to the cure to fix them up. Wow. the last decade. Please welcome competitor 18, Nasser L. Somebody. Nasser discovered many years ago in a granite quarry in Italy. <laughs> Top of a mountain broke off. He <laughs> came to the Olympia. Another huge man. You know, NASA known for his incredible size, 5'11 and a half, 280 pounds. Just amazing. Wow, he looks a lot better, uh, a lot better than from this morning. He, he, you know what? It's, that's a that's a good look because he has improved quite drastically since the pre judging. Oh, without a doubt, he's a lot fuller and harder. That's a, Nasser, another guy with a creatively named website, hugenasserelsabody.com. Again, going direct for the uh, the obvious. Probably a lot of marketing uh, decisions went into that. A lot yeah. of meetings, right? <laughs> Also known for being one of the most powerful bodybuilders, also he's a very strong. I mean, I, I've trained with NASA, just one of the incredibly strong bodybuilders. You're looking at a guy that does bent over rows of 505 pounds of repetitions, just an amazingly strong human being. And he trains like that every day. He doesn't have a light day. And it shows in the thickness. Nasser's also another one of those guys that, as massive as he looks on screen, in person, you're just blown away. Well, it's amazing, the width of this guy's shoulders, it looks like, you know, he has to step up to the doorway side, I, you know, sideways, it's amazing. Yeah. Nasser's always a crowd, a crowd favorite, always a crowd favorite. He's in condition. He's always in condition, too. My question is, did he peak when he was placing second and third a few years ago? You know, it's a possibility. A lot of people speculate that back in 97 when, you know, it was a controversial uh, second place finish for him to Dorian Yates where he did look just beyond incredible, the best I've ever seen him. It, you know, it, it's all a matter of timing. It's just a matter of timing. Sometimes you get in, sometimes you're off. Sometimes you're on, sometimes you're off. Do you think those, all those years of heavy pounding and pounding and pounding and taking their toll at all on, on him as far as his, his you know, competitive ability? I, I, I believe so to some effect, maybe, but Yasser was just such an incredible competitor, it might not even matter with him mentally. Now, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, making his